alertness, attention, better memory, increased cognitive function, decreased need for caffeine and other stimulants, increased creativity. This is what the research is showing. Better decision making, enhanced mood, enhanced mood. When we sleep, when we nap, serotonin bathes the brain, brings a better calm. Emotional stability. You know, when we get sleep deprived, we get agitated and anxious and frustrated and angry, a little bit easier than we might otherwise. So there's more of a stability to that emotional mood that plays along throughout the day. Cortisol levels drop, especially in certain stages that we'll talk about in a moment. Cortisol is the stress hormone. When you get news that some exam is in a week, when you get news that somebody's not happy with the work that you just did, or when you're not happy with the work that you just did, or when you think you don't have enough time, cortisol starts to be released through the body. It gets you energized. It also gets you potentially overly energized, overly worried, overly anxious. During certain stages of sleep, it completely cuts off. So there's a stress reduction quality to sleep. When these cortisol levels drop, growth hormones released. That's when we find when this growth hormone is released that the body's repairing itself, that cells and tissues are being repaired through the release of this growth hormone. We also have a better time metabolizing the food that we're eating, the fats and the carbohydrates. The health benefits, of course, we know about. Heart disease drops, uh, immune functioning goes up. Insight, there's wonderful stories that you may be aware of of people who have woken up. The periodic table, Mendeleev came up with the periodic table of elements. One day when he woke up, right? Lots of wonderful stories about wonderful insights and problems that were solved while sleeping. In certain ways that short-term memory, information in short-term memory, might get consolidated and turned into long-term memory through certain sleep cycles. And if we don't have that sleep opportunity, that may not happen or may not happen effectively. Or if we get woken up during that sleep cycle, it might get interrupted. Also, when you take a nap, because everything I've talked about so far pretty much applies while napping, and there's different ways and different times to nap to enhance that. And there's wonderful stories of like Thomas Edison, who slept very rarely, but he napped quite frequently. Winston Churchill, who during World War II began to take a nap during the day, because he said, there's no way in the world that I can do this without taking a nap in the middle of the day. And he said, in like some quote, you must get your pajamas, you must go to bed, you must take your nap. And he says it gives you two extra, it makes one day, two days worth of work. And without it, you could never get it done. Lyndon B. Johnson, the president in the 60s, every day, he put on his pajamas and take his 30-minute nap. He said it was fundamental to his being able to be effective at running the country. Yeah.